We are going to be talking a little WNBA for Tuesday. Hope your Labor Day weekend was a great one. Uh, the W was completely off, so everybody's back in action after a busy weekend. Uh, everybody has played now a handful of games since the Olympic break ended, and uh, we are starting to see the playoff races take shape. The Las Vegas Aces have really struggled since getting back from the Olympic break, even though Asia Wilson has been the most dominant player on the planet. We'll talk about her in a second. And the Chicago Sky now in danger of missing the playoffs, despite Angel Reese continuing a fabulous rookie season that has seen her rebound at a level not seen since Ben Wallace and Dennis Rodman before that in the men's NBA. So uh, right now... We've got the Aces playing the Sky tonight, Las Vegas, Michelob Ultra Arena at the Mandalay Bay. And the Aces were 12, 12 and a half point favorites. I've seen some 13 and a halfs out there. We'll see what the line does with uh, the news that Kennedy Carter is probably not going to play. She was in the hospital uh, last week dealing with symptoms of COVID. In fact, all of the Sky actually had uh, a touch of the illness, not necessarily COVID, but certainly uh, a flu. They did not practice one day because they didn't have enough bodies. And so uh, they have really struggled and come into this one 10 games under 500 now and have been tied up for number eight by the Atlanta Dream, although Chicago still holds the tiebreaker uh, by virtue of a two to one series lead on the season. Those two teams will play on September 17th, but Chicago can really take care of business after this contest in Las Vegas, because they go back home to play the LA Sparks, Dallas Wings, and Washington Mystics, all teams that they have better records than. Uh, so if they can get Kennedy Carter back, uh, they can get a couple of wins under their belt and really put that game that's coming up in a few weeks against the Dream in a situation where they can put away Atlanta instead of that becoming a must win on the road. But as far as this contest goes, I'm going to say let's ride the Las Vegas Aces. I don't think Kennedy Carter is going to play, uh, and they have really struggled without her because she is their most consistent scorer and their top dynamic perimeter defender. So really, with her out, it's affecting uh, both sides of the ball. Kennedy Carter, the only guard in the entire WNBA, averaging 17-plus points and shooting 50% or better from the field. And in her last game against the Las Vegas Aces, she showed off her improved shooting touch from three-point range, uh, tying things up at 75 with a pair of clutch threes when Chicago needed the most at home. And uh, ultimately, Las Vegas won it at the buzzer as Asia Wilson got a great pass from Chelsea Gray and finished a layup right before the red light went on before the uh, clock hit zero. So uh, Las Vegas knows it's going to have his hands full, but without Carter, their job gets easier. Now, Chelsea Gray probably not going to play in this one. She's dealing with a hip issue. Uh, listed as doubtful. I even missed this game. I don't think she plays. That means Kelsey Plum will do some more handling uh, of the basketball, and then we'll have um, probably more Tiffany Hayes. We'll definitely see Jackie Young in a, more of a distribution role. Uh, but Jackie Young, very interesting because she has really struggled since the Olympic break, which is ironic because she was so fantastic during the Olympics, uh, really stepping into the void that was there uh, for the U.S. women's team with uh, Diana Taurasi struggling as a starter. Uh, Jack Young ultimately replaced her and made all the difference in helping the U.S. win gold, uh, winning a, a tight gold medal match over France. So Jackie Young, when she came back, really did not hit the ground running, kind of hit the wall. In fact, uh, she was somewhat benched in uh, two games ago and uh, then w was considered questionable because they – the thought was that she was going to be rested by Becky Hammond, ended up playing and playing well, so maybe she's out of her funk. Asia Wilson, though, has been dominant, 41 points and 17 rebounds in a 97-79 win over Phoenix last time out. Uh, she's averaging 27.5 points, 12 rebounds, and 2.7 blocks. The steals uh, have been there as well. She had a five-steal game uh, out of the break against uh, the, the Sky, I believe. Um, in Minnesota, against LA, I should say, the Sparks. 
She played well in the two losses to Minnesota, but the Lynx look like they are going to be the best team in the Western Conference. We know that Connecticut has played well, and we see the storm coming. So the Aces, not the prohibited favorite that we expected, despite the fact that Asia Wilson will win the MVP if she continues to play as well as she is. She should be unanimous. Uh, but before this uh, 41.17 rebound explosion against Phoenix, she had 26-16-5 uh, and five against the Atlanta Dream. She had 42 points in a loss to the Dallas Wings. Uh, and so there's nobody playing better than uh, Miss Wilson, and she will now try to take down Angel Reese and Camilla Cardozo, the rookies, for the fourth time this season. And I think that Las Vegas will do so, even without Chelsea Gray, by margin. I would lay the 12 and a half to 13 points. Las Vegas beat uh, Chicago 95-83 on June 27th, beat him 93-85 in Las Vegas on July 16th, right before the Olympic break, and then the 77-75 win a couple of weeks ago on the 25th of August uh, that I talked about before with Wilson uh, being the hero there. There's still some props with uh, – with, uh, Chelsea Gray on them at this point at FanDuel. I, again, I don't think she plays to record a double-double. Uh, both Angel Reese and Asia Wilson, too heavy of favorites to bet. Wilson's minus 400. Angel Reese is minus 260. Uh, and Asia Wilson's points, rebounds, and assists is way up there at 42 and a half. That's Nikola Jokic numbers. Uh, so really, they're not making it easy on you uh, to bet these things prop-wise, at least to the over. Kelsey Plum, over 24 and a half points, rebounds, and assists is something that I would mess around with, uh, especially without Chelsea Gray. Jackie Young, over 25 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. The uh, Las Vegas backcourt without Chelsea Gray in it will, mean, it will still have a huge advantage over Chicago's backcourt without Kennedy Carter in it. Uh, so from that standpoint, that's why I would play both Kelsey Plum and Jackie Young to the over here. And again, we're riding the Las Vegas Aces minus 12 and a half points over the Chicago Sky. Uh, Sky really need Carter back and they need to get their act together before a huge three game homestand that continues uh, early, later this week against the Sparks, Wings and Mystics. That'll be make or break for them. But tonight they'll be broken and we're riding the Las Vegas Aces. Smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV so you never miss a play. We're now into the college football season. The NFL is upon us. And uh, the uh, NBA season is actually just over a month away. So lots to do. We've got uh, MLB in full swing. The playoffs right around the corner. We're in the stretch run on that. We are uh, also into the uh, international break throughout the world in soccer. So there will be a lot of national teams and World Cup qualifiers going on at the moment. Um, so... Look for that later this week. Look for content from all of our soccer players, uh, myself included. And so we've got great deals going on at both Wager Talk and Sports Memo. Make sure you're uh, checking that out for uh, a free week of football that we have going on. There is uh, a great deal on a three-day pass available just on Tuesday, uh, kind of a little pick-me-up after the Labor Day weekend. So pick your favorite handicapper and start making some money over the next few days. Again, college football returns on Friday and on Thursday, the NFL season will kick off with the Chiefs and Ravens. For the WNBA tonight, again, we like the Las Vegas Aces to win by margin over the Chicago Sky without Kennedy Carter. I'm Tony Mejia, follow me on Twitter at Mejia Dinero and check me out at sportsmemo at sm.buzz slash TDM. Have a great week, thanks for watching.